In this video, you will learn how to create a taskpad button to ring up a specific item. The first thing you will need is the product code for the item you would like the button to ring up. In order to get this, click Products and search for the item that you would like. Highlight the product code and copy it. Now click Admin, search for Task, and click on Task Pads. This will populate a list of the available task pads. The one that we want to modify is the POS Default Service Pro, so you can click on that one. This will bring up a preview of that task pad. Click on the button that you would like to modify. This will display a list of the properties for that button. It will display either to the right of the task pad preview or below it. In the text box, type the text that you would like to appear on the button. Once you click away from that box, you will see that your text displays on the button. Is enabled means the button is enabled. If you would ever want to disable that button, you uncheck the box. You can change the color of the box, if you, or of the button, if you would like. You can select an image to display on the button. Display the text with the image will display the text and the image. If you uncheck that, it will only display the image. You can choose which users have permission to use this button by unchecking or checking the user roles. You can change the column span or the row span of the button if you would like. In the command box, type in the word add. This will populate a list of all of the commands that contain the word add. The command that we want is add line item. If you hover over it, you will see a list of the parameters for this button. As you click on that, in the command parameter box, we're going to paste the product code for the item that we would like to ring up. Mapped key would be if you would want to map this key so that it, you can use an F key to ring up this button. Data panel template is to be able to create a custom hook and link it to the button. This is outside the scope of this video. Manual close, if you have this checked, means that once the button is clicked, it will return you back to the default taskpad. Since this button is being created on the default taskpad, we can leave that unchecked. Once you've set the whatever properties you would like for the button, you can click save. It typically takes about 30 seconds or so for these changes to sync with the POS. I'll switch over to Cloud Retailer. You will see that the button that we created is not displaying. One additional step that we will have to do is to navigate away from this task pad and back to it. So click on Manager Tasks and then click on Home. You'll now see that the Aquafina button appears. You click on it, you will see that it does indeed bring up the Aquafina bottle of water.